Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing VAT filing forms, which is a specific type of Thailand tax form. Uh, the PP30, the poor, poor 30, as they say. Um, this pertains to VAT, that's value added tax here in the kingdom. Um, as of the time of this video, VAT is currently being assessed at 7%. However, as noted in prior videos on this channel, that is basically being kept in effect by sort of year on year temporary measures. Uh, when it was first brought into effect, it was a 10% VAT, which was subsequently lowered, and that has stayed in effect through usage of temporary, um, basically temporary power on the part of the state uh, to go ahead and maintain that uh, VAT at a rate of about 7%. Now, the PP30, which is this form right here, uh, this form goes ahead and deals with one's VAT assessment for on a monthly basis, um, which there's sort of a credit debit system associated with VAT. Um, you know, if you essentially pay out more in VAT than you take in in a given month, it's sort of offset. Uh, that being said, at the end of the day, most companies are going to at least pay something in VAT. At least that's been my experience. Um, although there are months where you can have these really anomalous circumstances. Uh, where there's a massive VAT credit. It does happen. Um, the thing to take away from this video, though, is uh, this is a this is the form, and the thing that should be noted specifically when it comes to issues surrounding VAT is regardless of the fact of whether income came into the company on which VAT may be payable on, uh, a company ne still needs to go ahead and file this form regardless of the income of the company, because even a zero filing has to be done. These are required monthly filings. Um, they're not necessarily circumstantially dependent on whether or not tax needs to be paid. Um, even if tax doesn't need to be paid, even if zero is the amount that has to, that's being assessed on the company, um, the form itself still needs to go ahead and be filed. So that's a little bit different than some of the other forms associated with Thai tax. Uh, VAT is a very important component of the Thai tax system, and for that reason, uh, it's been my experience, the Revenue Department takes VAT filings very, very seriously, um, and failure to file within the allotted deadline associated uh, with the monthly filings can result in uh, fines and penalties. Uh, another thing to think of for foreigners in this context, it's been my experience having gone through many, many times the business visa extension process and things like work permit renewals, um, it's been my uh, experience that officers that are scrutinizing a company's financial situation when determining whether or not to go ahead and issue uh, a long-term business visa, especially um, VAT filings such as these and the records associated therewith, um, it's been my experience those are of a special note to um, the officers scrutinizing those kind of applications. And for this reason, the PP30 is an extremely important form, if not only from a tax compliance standpoint, but also with respect to renewal of business visas and work permits here in the Kingdom of Thailand.